mine. According to the word, I have what I heard. What have we heard the last three days? Hallelujah. We have heard, hallelujah, enough word to set us free, enough word to walk in victory.
Yesterday I made mention about fellowshipping with God through the Word. And He will say to me, He will, you know, uh, reveal to me the written Word, speak to my spirit. And He said, son, get up and dance. That's what it is. Because faith is your victory. And faith comes by hearing and hearing the Word of God. And He said, get up, get up and dance. He's teaching me how to yield to victory. Because what I heard is my victory. Oh my God, I, and I get up and dance in my private time. You know, I just get up and dance and the anointing on the word he gave me. Wow, it set me for life. It set my life in motion. Hallelujah. I just hear. That's what it is. Victory is mine. And the more you yield, the more you hear. And he will say to me, brother, listen, now sit down. So I sit down again. And he will speak to me the victory. The, the word of faith. Amen. As now faith comes by hearing and hearing the word. And now son, get up and dance. So I get up and, you know, receive my victory. That's what's happening this morning. Amen. Well, you might say, well, uh, I didn't hear, you, you will hear. I mean, Sister Cindy got the word from God, right? And, and songs, hymns, spiritual songs, whatever it may be, and she'll speak it out. That's our victory. And we're responding. <laughs> yeah. Ha. That's how it is. It's part of your prayer life. myself with the Lord. I guess he has a filter, you know. <laughs> Amen. But sometimes I don't dance. I just fellowship with God. And then he will speak the word to me in prayer. And many times I don't ask for things. I just say, Father, I set myself to just worship you. And I stay time to worship him, giving him thanks. And, and, and he will speak the word to me. Enjoy. I mean, you're inside. The, the, the spirit of faith in your inside will. I mean, you can see the workings of the Holy Ghost in your spirit, and joy will start to flow. Oh, yes, Lord. Whoa. I, I can say, I, I have to do something. Yeah, and that joy will flow. I steal your victory. Do it every day did it today, all the time. Yes. Amen, hallelujah. So when I face things today, I learn how to turn my mind to my spirit. And that's, amen. And I will hear the word of God. Uh, I'm not preaching, I'm just being alone with God and happen to my vehicle because when I'm driving, I cannot get up and dance. I'm stuck on that. But sometimes I get off the road, you know, because the power of God, I mean, I got to hold on to that steering wheel because the power of God with regards to the word he said, and I respond, I receive it, Lord. I receive it, Lord. It's my Lord. I receive the word. Hallelujah. I receive it. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. It's your prayer life. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, praise the Lord. My God, hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care how situations are complicated. One word. One word is your victory. One word. One word. Hallelujah. I learned it from Jesus when he was tempted. Right? He felt, he's, he doesn't feel anointing, it seems like. He felt he was hungry. 
right? But he learned how to separate the voice of his body and the voice of the Father. And right away, he said, man shall not live by bread alone. He heard that from the Father, right? Despite of the, you know, a voice of his body, and he answered the devil. You know, the devil didn't, you know, tempt him again with that word at the time, right? Because the Father said, it's his victory. Three times he was tempted. Suicide, whatever it is, but the Father always speaks to his spirit, right? He learned, amen, he learned. He didn't feel the anointing, seems like, because he felt that, boys, he was hungry. Are you hungry? <laughs> right? In the midst. But I noticed he cannot repeat that temptation, that temptation, so he has to do another thing. He, and everything, he does something. The victory that the Father gave to him, the Word, it stopped the, the temptation. So he has to do something else. But he always had the answer from the Father. Right? And when he, and some of you been in some situations for a long time, pressure for a long time, all we need is what the Father will say. And he will stop it. He'll stop the pressure. Amen. Hallelujah. If he tried to come back, and that's what, amen. How oh, you can all be seated. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, sis. Praise the Lord. It's part of your prayer life. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. That's our victory. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But anyway, Praise God. And uh, as we learned, uh, you know, uh, being in the will of God is not only for you, but for many. And uh, I remember even reading in the Old Testament, you know Samuel? Well, Samuel. <laughs> not Samuel Adams, you know, I heard. I, I don't drink, I've seen that on TV, right? Samuel with Jesus, you know. <laughs> Not Adam, but anyway. <laughs> One of the greatest prophets ever lived in the Old Testament. But we didn't know, we didn't pay attention much on, on, on his mother. His mother prayed. His mother cannot have a baby. Remember that story? Amen. He, she prayed. That's the plan of God for her life. To give birth to Samuel. Samuel anointed at least two kings we know. Uh, Saul and David. We know Samuel much. But not much paying attention if we're not careful. To the one that prayed. Amen. She prayed fervently. To have a baby because in the natural she can't. Right? But you know it's unselfish prayer. She said, Lord, give, give me a, a child, a son, and I will give him to you. Amen. Remember that? Unselfish prayer. Unselfish prayer. And uh, praise God. All these men of God and women of God, I'm amazed with them because... And we talk about Rahab because Rahab is one of great example because she's not a Jew, and, but uh, she heard. For many years she knows. She knows that uh, their, their city will be turned over to the Jew. She knows it. She knows and she told the spies that she believed on their God. She released her faith. Remember, study it. And uh, her household was saved because the plan is to kill all of them. Take all their belongings. Burn everything. But they're not believers in the natural. But she believed. And all her household got the privilege. Now you may say Rahab got connected with the Jews. Not only her. Her, her, her family, her brother, sister, all her relatives 
that connected to a what? Thank God that they're connected to a woman of God. Amen. That has faith. Yes. One, yes. save all her household. Yes. We didn't see much of her, but you know, amen. It's amazing how they suck a mohoye. And you can read it in the Old Testament, that, uh, like Gideon. I mean, she's, he said, I'm, my clan is the weakest of all. And I'm the weakest of my clan. <laughs> and God picked him. Yeah. Yeah. And imparted to him strength, imparted to him grace, imparted to him, amen. remember that? Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. God I mean, just imparted. See, the thing is, there's no man of God imparted to him. Nobody at the time of Gideon. So God himself came in, you know, fellowship. See, when God, when you encounter God, that's prayer. And God himself imparted uh, his strength, right? His ability to Gideon. And he became, a, I mean, a mighty man of valor. Saved a whole, the whole nation, the weakest of all. The weakest link. <laughs> Amen. And I'm telling you, I can say myself, like Paul said, I'm the least to stand in this pulpit. I'm so thankful and I'm so thankful for my pastor and, uh, and doctor Amen. and many others. But they're our primary, our primary uh, voice into our lives. Yeah. See, God taught me about short-circuiting the anointing. Yeah. That's why he told me, stay with your spiritual father. Yeah. Never connect yourself to somebody that is not, this is just me talking to me in prayer. Yeah. I have a clear, uh, not only uh, wisdom, but understanding of what God is saying. He said, son, never, don't connect yourself to somebody that's not connected to your spiritual father. It's not that others are, there's great other men and women of God that are, I mean, they're good ministers. One, but they're not, God said, do not connect yourself. And, I, I, and many, many will know, you got to know like, uh, you know, Pastor Craig about talk, talking about a woman that with a woman got connected with a, a man of God. She may not have the word, but the man of God received from God the word of God. And, and really the word is the one keep bringing that supply naturally. Because remember, feed me first because God said. Right? <laughs> Until the rain came. What I'm saying is, she got connected to the plan of God. See, the plan of God was in Elijah's heart. It was given to Elijah. And God has to protect Elijah. God, what, whatever he needs to do, he has to keep Elijah because he holds the plan. He holds his plan. Because if Elijah died, there will be no rain. Maybe, I, I believe, up to today. Right? Hallelujah. And, and we know Elijah was the one that was used uh, by James about his fervency in prayer. Right? You, you can see the fervent prayer of a righteous man. And, and I don't know why they added the word Tisbite. Might be just really an ordinary man. Do you know, Brother Joe, because you know some history. You know where Tisbite is? Is that the word Tisbite? Huh? Oh, okay. From oh, okay. From, from where? A region. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Is that close to Israel? I don't know. No, not nothing at all. But it like is a significant human being. It seems like. But he heard from God. Wow! Praise the Lord! Right? He heard from God, and God gave in His Spirit the plan, the word. Right? Amen. But he still had to pray the word. Right? He still had to pray. So uh, today, I mean, we don't lack the word. I mean, uh, you know, iPod or those pad or whatever it may be. I mean, we can, we can get into the word. Why is not getting into the congregation sometimes in their life? Some will get it. Some, a lot of them will not. It's because of lack of prayer. 
we, we got to pray the word. We got to pray what God said. Amen. And, uh, and, and then that's why I believe it will change. It will change. It will change. This prayer conference is teaching us. God is teaching us to pray. It's not just your pastor pray. Or, or, or your brother sisters pray. You learn how to pray. So that, amen. Praise God forevermore. God taught me to pray those efficient prayers to my children. And he said, well, son, if you don't pray for them, they will not stand a chance. Oh, wow. wow, I said, yes, Lord. So me and my wife, I told my wife about it, and uh, he, we, we prayed for them. He said, let me work on those prayers. He said, let me work on those prayers. He said again, let me work on those prayers. I mean, I, 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 praise God. It becomes fervent for us to pray that because, you know, you pray that over and over. It'll get into your spirit because it's the word. It's an eternal word. Amen. We kinda, I kind of memorize it now, not because I'm smart, but, you know, I don't pray that from my head. I pray that in my, from my spirit. Yes, it's not to pray for you, Paul said. Amen. God promised. Paul has revelation. But why is not getting to our spirit? Because lack of prayer. Prayerlessness is one of the sin that the body of Christ, lack of prayer, is causing the word not to get into our spirit. Amen. Praise God. You know how I heard about dad? I traveled with dad for, dad the friend for many years. I heard that in my prayer time. 2002, I still remember. Amen. I was praying. I, I'm just praying for the meeting, the word. And you know, when you get into the spirit, uh, what you think you, you're praying about just to hear from God, there's more. There's more. How do you know that? It happened to Peter. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Jesus said, who do you think I am? Yeah. Because other men said, they're all guessing who he is. Right. They don't have revelation. So the question remained. So he asked his disciples, maybe somebody got something. Amen. And Peter got it. Right? And, and uh, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. It's rare at the time. Yeah. It's rare that revelation be given to a man to know who the Lord Jesus Christ is. So he said, uh, Peter, you know, my, my father gave that to you. My father. Yes. My father. He said, my father. So who is the key? Yeah. The key. Yeah. The key to revelation of who we are in Christ. The Father will speak. The Father will speak. Amen. Now notice, is, do I need to listen to just the Father? No. No. He will give it to your pastor. Because after that, revelation continues. Remember? But it, this time, Peter just didn't receive it from the Father. He received, Jesus received it from the Father. And now he's telling them what will happen to him. Remember that? Amen. Right? It's now Jesus continued on that revelation and he singled out Peter. He was talking to Peter. Upon this rock, I will build my church. You know, unless the Lord builds the house. So we learn one of the scripture how he build, he builds us or mature us is the revelation of who we are in Christ. But it's all come from the Father. But this time, it's a man of God named Jesus at the time. Continue on to receive from the Father what will happen to him. And, and no, he, and Peter, this same Peter that received from God, now he's listening to the devil. He didn't recognize that the continuity of what he heard from the Father so that he can, they can have more understanding. I, I don't know if they're all hearing it, but he was talking to Peter. He didn't talk to anybody on his disciples. He singled out the one that heard from God. Yeah. Yeah. So if we hear from God, I mean, he'll come in fellowship with you. He, he'll bring you more understanding. Amen. Praise God. Amen. But this time, so you can hear from God during your fellowship with God. And he will impart that revelation to you. And you go to church. And here comes your pastor. You pray the utterance for your pastor or whoever will be ministering in the pulpit. Amen? Praise God. Right? And you, that's the honor because God told me, your prayer life, that's your, bringing your honor to all these men, women of God. 
Amen. Amen. Praise God. Oh, praise God. Amen. Because my pastor heard to have all this man. How do you know your pastor? Because I prayed for my pastor. I didn't question, oh, my pastor make a mistake. That devil will try to do that to you. But I prayed for my pastor. I prayed for our trust. Uh, I said, Father, your leadership flowed flow through my pastor. I, I pray, Father, that your wisdom will flow through my, through my pastor. Amen. Hallelujah. So whomever pastor will bring to this pulpit, you might not see them before that now you're seeing them. I believe that's from the Holy Ghost. Yeah. I will not question it because I'm praying. And I know God heard my prayer because I prayed it according to the word. Amen. Praise the Lord. You know, Brother Copeland, I mean, for many years now, coming here, I said, Father, I'm so thankful. I may not know him personally. He probably doesn't know uh, this good-looking guy. <laughs> but I'm saying, Father, uh, I'm so honored to pray for this man. Yes. Yes. So, some, if we're not careful, we're always looking for the mistake of man of God, woman of God. Amen. So I said, Lord, I, I, I'm so honored to pray. He said to me, son, amen, pray for him, for Atran. I will give him Atran. I will give him the correct Atran. Praise God forevermore. Amen. amen. So what I'm saying is, praise God. Uh, you know, I've seen it in the Old Testament. That you cannot know the plan of God without prayer. You can't. You might say, well, I'm just a housewife or whatever, but yet you didn't know that one of your children will be used of God mightily. Now, now we know that, Hagen. Let's go now, fast forward, to whom we really know. One example is that, Hagen, right? We may not know, I don't know if some of you heard about his mother. Remember he died because of that sickness? He went to hell. Remember the story? Amazing story. I believe in vision. Details. He went to hell. Remember, he's already in hell. Right? But uh, he heard a voice. Remember? Dad Hagen said, I don't know what that voice said. He doesn't even sure if it's Jesus, but he knows it's Jesus. <laughs> or whatever. And the devil, right? That devil. Ugly devil. But he was so focused on the fire of hell. Remember, he's already in hell. Yes. It's resurrection power. Right. Raise him up from that place. Yes. But we can see and focus on, the, uh, on that devil take his hands off of him. And he will ascend back to earth. But there was an account that her, his mother was praying. From the top of her voice. You know, I, I don't know what she prayed. But I believe it, she was inspired by the Holy Ghost. Because she knows something about her son. Because she, she encountered one time in the story that God uh, spoke to her. Probably audible voice. And she got scared. Because she never experienced it. About the future of her son. You can tell there's no way, Jose, if that's your name. <laughs> Amen. Have you noticed that? Now, now notice here. And Dad Hagen went up, right? So I said, you know, I belong to the church. Ineffective prayer. He prayed, but he's ineffective. He's not in line with the will of God. The first time. <laughs> he got back to his body. His, 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 it's not because of his prayer. It's the prayer of his mother. Yes. And he died again. Yes. Yeah. Remember that? Yes. Twice. Yes. He prayed the same thing. Yeah. Ineffective prayer. He prayed, but it's ineffective. Until the third time. Yeah. Yeah. 
That's right. But the one that's effective is the prayer of his mother. Yeah. Thank God for somebody that prayed. Yeah. And Dad Hagen, if his mother didn't pray yeah. an effective prayer, yeah. he's in hell. We talk about Dad Hagen and his accomplishment. Oh, come on. Yeah. Come on. Amen. We didn't talk much about his mother. Yeah. She is just like Hannah. Yeah. Yeah. So don't tell me that you're just a housewife. Oh. Praying for your children. Oh. The plan of God. Oh. Well, that's just Dad Hagen. How about Dr. Summerall? His mama. Yeah. We never heard that she preached the word. She's just a mother praying for his son, for her son. And death in life, you know, choose life, you know. Yeah. And exactly God did that to Dr. Sobro. He still had to make a choice. But his mother made power available. That cop and showed up. Remember his story? Yeah. And that big, it doesn't come from him because he hates the church. That's right. He is not praying. Yeah. Right. The one that prays for that choice, that he was given a choice, he has his, and he doesn't have a chance. Yeah. That Higgins doesn't have a chance. Yeah. But somebody was praying. Yeah. That's good. Somebody was praying. Yeah. Amen. 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 <laughs> Amen. Amen. That's why that coffin and that Bible big, it's a big, ch I mean, life size, right? Choose. He's dying. He only got a few hours to live and he's going to hell. Think about it. I mean, I, we can go on and on. So don't tell me that you're just a housewife. You didn't know the future. You, they're, they're the prayer of the mother of both of them. I mean, they, they both touched the whole world. And many of you, Dad Hagen's life touched your life. But we didn't recognize the one that prays for the plan of God. Praise God for the plan of God. Right? Amen. His spirit was speaking. Remember that, Aiken? His spirit was speaking. Because his body is dead. Spirit separated. He was praying ineffective prayer from his spirit. Until the third time. <laughs> Until the third. His spirit was praying. But it's an effective prayer from his spirit. And God... Uh, uh, That's why you got to hang around. That's why the word, we heard the word. We got wonderful teachers. Amen. We got wonderful teachers. And, and quite a few of them are here. That was connected to Dad Hagen and got impartations from Dad Hagen. Right? Impartation of the spirit of faith, the spirit of prayer. Some of them, they didn't see it until right now. It started to. To flow. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Yeah. And I can hear the spirit of God every time, pretty much every time God ministered to Sister Cindy. Yeah. What's in you? It's, it's already in her. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Why would pastor say that? I believe she's praying. Yeah. Yeah. And God bringing it out, the gift. Because yeah. yeah. he's been around and many others. Yeah. 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 Amen. Praise God. I, Somebody prays. Somebody is praying. Amen. And, and that's what God told me. That if you pray for your children. Efficient prayers. Let me work on that prayer. They still have to make that decision. But at least we give them a chance. To make the choice. Amen. We can go on and on. Reverend Oral Roberts. I mean the prayer. Wow, hallelujah, the prayer. Oh, it's amazing that when you found out the will of God for your life, 
Amen. Some of you, the will of God is to pray for your children. That's, that's okay. You may not get into the pulpit, but the impact of your prayer life. When God gave you the word, that's eternal. It's eternal. Faith, yeah, faith can it by hearing, but don't take it lightly because that's eternal word when it, come, when it flows because it comes from heaven. Oh my God. And the Holy Ghost will give it to your spirit. Yes. Yeah. When you receive it, you receive that life. Yeah. You, it lives into your spirit because the, the letter kills, but the life of the letter is the Holy Spirit. Yes. Yes. Amen. He, he will reveal it to you. But I'm telling you the truth. If we are not praying, right. yeah. it doesn't matter if we go to church. Because we, we did. Me and my wife did. Right. 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 Amen. Nothing get into our spirit. Right. Our life is still messed up. Yes. We give our tithes and our offering. Mm. But still there's no harvest. Yes. We hear the word. Yes. We might not be in the perfect church. But I know that pastors speak light. May not be the whole thing. But they know they speak light to us. Right. Yeah. Amen. But we didn't get it. Because lack of prayer. But when we begin to pray. Remember I prayed. The way I know how that commode, you know. <laughs> in one month of praying, being in the presence of God, I even forget, I even forgot at that time to pray for my need. I was so consumed with the revelation of the word. I never heard before. I mean, I will open the book because, you know, you pray in the spirit. And the purpose of praying in the Spirit so that the Word of God, amen, will be understood, right? I'm going to praise God, hallelujah. And uh, I'm just giving you uh, a, an example. I can talk about myself. I cannot talk about you, but I can talk about myself. I heard that from my pastor. <laughs> a lot of these things I'm telling you, it's not my original, but <laughs> amen, right? And after 30 days, I get tired. And I was honest to God. Lord, I get tired sitting in that commode. I want to know your will, you know. But I didn't know I'm already hearing. I mean, specific. But what he did to me, when I pray in the spirit, you know, you know, I prayed in the worship God. I, I, I spent time worshiping God. I spent time worshiping God. If I don't... Uh, I don't have to ask him for anything. Because I, I, learned, I learned it from God. Because one time I was driving, uh, you know, years ago. And I was listening to Dr. Shumro. And he made mention that the Lord spoke to him, go to the Philippines. He got a thriving church, nice home. Everything set up nice for him by God. But God said, you go to the Philippines. Right. So... Uh, that was 1950s, early 1950s. I was born 1958. I'm not trying to tell you my age, but uh, <laughs> I was born. And I, I know this because, after, you know, after a while, every time I heard Dr. Trump, I asked the Lord, Lord, why did you? I learned, because I learned from Nicodemus. Yeah. Yeah. And Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Yes. Nicodemus went to Jesus, asked question. Yes. You know, we can quote John 3.16. Yes. We will not have John 3.16 without Brother Nick at night. Because right. <laughs> he came to Jesus by night. <laughs> right? Yes. You can read it. Nicodemus at night. Yes. He's the original. Yes. Right? Yes. And he got corrected. Yes. You're a teacher. You didn't know. You know. He took it. He took the correction. He, asked, he wants to know something. Yeah. He said, how can a man be born when he is old? We will not know the word born again until Nicodemus asked Jesus. Amen. Jesus said, what I'm doing, you can do also. You must be born again. It, it, that, it, I'm just paraphrasing what he said. You must be born again by spirit. So, so one time I was reading that. He said, son, everything that you receive from me, it must be birthed in the spirit. Yes. Oh, oh, must be birthed in the spirit. Oh, yeah, teaching me about prayer, must be birthed. That's what he said. 
You must be born again. Things of the Spirit has to be birthed. Has to be born. Has to be birthed. He taught me that. That scripture. See, he's talking a lot of things when he talks to me. I see prayer. Prayer is all over the scripture. <laughs> Amen. So, and he asked, you can say, well, stupid. How come you say, you, you keep, you know. He got corrected. Right? But he kept asking questions. And I saw that even though his question is not really that good in hearing, Jesus obligated himself to answer him. Have you noticed that? He answered him. And gave, I mean, the, the book of John chapter 3 talks about John 3, 16, for God so loved the world. We will not have those scriptures. And you know that he will go to the cross, right? Until the son of man be lifted up. Remember that? Amen. All those, all those revelation was asked by one man. A man that has fellowship with the Lord Jesus Christ. And I know when Jesus was telling all this revelation to Nick, brother Nick at night. Right? He's hearing from the father what to say to him. Even though the question is not even looks like legitimate. But it's a question. He, uh, in prayer. In prayer. How do you know you're, you're praying? Because the father was there. Was the Father was present in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And Jesus was hearing and he's answering Nicodemus. For God so loved the world. We know that. We memorized that scripture. We're not going to have that today. If not for Brother Nick. His question. So, uh, so I see. Uh, there's so many things I don't, I don't know. I mean, so many things I don't know. We struggle with it because we don't know. One day I asked the Lord, uh, one, you know, because uh, I did the same thing with Brother Nicodemus. We're, we're financially, we're scraping under the barrel, you know. Yeah. I buy me a ticket to go with Dad. So my wife has to call the, uh, you know, the car, electric company. Uh, can, can we pay half of this? Half of, my wife negotiate with them because I need to buy a ticket. I have to put the plan of God first. Because it's our safety. Amen. So she will call all this company. Because we're developing with our faith. And they. <laughs> can I pay half this? Oh, what did they say to you? Oh, make it three. As far as we're concerned, you're paid. Up to date. And we're behind paying. And the money will still come. And it, it takes a while. And then what they done on me. We were, uh, dad was invited, I was with him. We were in the vehicle. I was at the back, I remember, under my breath. I was talking to God. I'm like Hannah. Yeah, you know, you know, Eli, seeing her mouth moving, but he cannot hear. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, nobody knows at that time that Eli will be rejected by God. Yeah. Right. The, the, amen, rejected by God. Yeah. Right? Rejected by God. Lack of prayer. But anyway, I asked the Lord, Lord, uh, I need money to go with that. Father, give me idea and business. You know, I was talking to God, you know, so I can have my, 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 my asking is not selfish. Is is the, the, amen, right? Right? To, 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 I can have the finances to, Fulfill the plan. Yes. We struggle and struggle financially until that day. And I realized, oh my God, I sh we should not have struggled this long. Yes. If only I asked. Amen. Amen. He didn't tell me. He said, uh, son, I cannot give you ideas in business. He can. What he means to me is he can give me ideas in business. But because of the nature of, your, of my plan for you, the nature of your ministry, I cannot give it to you, but yeah. here's what I'm going to do. Yeah. He gave me the best option. Yes. Yes. Right? Yeah. Uh, he said, I open doors for you. Yeah. You know, preach to yeah. my churches. Yeah. And I will use this as an avenue. Yeah. Not my, 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 uh, yeah. my, my trust. Yes. 
I, he taught me about not to press on meetings. Yeah. Yeah. But he will use that. Yeah. You will go there. And he taught me about not to be money minded. Uh -huh. yeah. Not to think about how much they will give you. Amen. He said, son, every one of my pastors has different degree in their faith. Yes. Financially. Yeah. That's good. That's good. That's good. And he said to me, son, just receive. Sometimes he'll tell me, just give it back to them, whatever. Uh -huh. He said, give your best. Yes. Wherever you go, give your best. Amen. And don't think about the money. Don't think about the offering. He said, if it's not enough what they give to you, if that's where their faith is, I will make it up. He said, son, I know how much you work. So, I mean, and then he told me, this is just me. He said, son, just don't call anyone. And I realized why he wanted, doesn't want me to call anyone is because I'm around with dad at the time and his influence, his influence big. And people can see me being around him. And God doesn't want me to abuse that influence. He's protecting my mind. He's protecting, first of all, my spirit, my intent. He said, son, you always have, my word knows the intent of the heart. Make sure your intent is always right. I, I have to always, you know. So he taught me this. There, I mean, if you're a traveling minister, there's nothing wrong with calling for meeting. But that is just for me. Because of the, I, now I understand because of the position we are in. Amen. I was thinking, you know, your mind said, how do they know? That you told me. <laughs> and he'd remind me, lay hold. Lay hold. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold. It looks like it's, so what I do, Father, you know my, your plan for me. It's a mystery to me where I should be. So I began to pray in the spirit. Father, I lift up to you the church. I lift up to you those pastors. Father, I thank you. I thank you for those avenues. And Father, you said I'd be a blessing to them. I began to speak, pray what he said to me. So I lay hold. And I pray in the spirit to lay hold. He taught me that to lay hold. You know, you know the scripture, if you study it, he was teaching Timothy. To lay hold of finances. Not to be covetous. You know, that's where uh, part of that chapter is the love of money, not money, is the root of all evil. He taught Timothy to lay hold. How to bring that finances. Amen. It's good. Amen. Yeah. How God will supply your needs. Yeah. According to his riches and glory, it came from Paul. But Paul has, knows how to lay hold when there's no money. He doesn't think of money. No. Thinks of the, he lay hold of it. Yeah. He told Timothy how he did it. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Wow. Amen. And that same night, the pastor, sad to say they're not there anymore. The pastor leaned on me. I was sitting next to him. He said, Amen. Pastor Noel, come and preach for us. I said, God, you just told me that earlier. <laughs> it came to pass. Yeah. It came to pass. Yeah. And the doors began to open. Yes. Yes. I didn't open it. God did. God. Yes. I opened doors for you. No yes. man can shut. Yes. He gave me that scripture. And I know that was Jesus. Yes. Speaking to John. Remember? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> He's the head of the church. He's the boss. <laughs> when he said he'll open, he'll open. Yes. Amen. My job is to lay hold. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. See? Hallelujah. Amen. And the finance become easier and easier because God opened up the avenue. Amen. But it's not a selfish prayer. It's to fulfill the plan of God. Even up to today. Amen. Even up to today. Praise God. Prayer. Amen. God gave us a nice home here. We don't have the money to pay for it, but we have the word. Amen. We have the word. 
But the word comes easy when you always pray. There must be a labor in the beginning. You know where I learned it from? From all these things. I learned it from my pastor, testimony of pastor. Remember how she met Dr. Duprain? Dad Duprain? Right? She prayed the way she knows how. I believe the Holy Ghost led her. She will meditate on the word. She will worship. Right? And then she will pray in the spirit. When she saw the plan of God, she didn't recognize it. Remember when they met? But I noticed that there's people. God is moving through people to bring them together. All things work together for good. Amen. All things work together for good. She didn't even, pastor didn't even recognize the plan of God for his, for her life. But doc, doctor been praying. He, he taught me that. Amen. Even in his earthly, he said, uh, there's a lot of people, but one of them will be my wife. <laughs> He's been wanting to get married. But every time he will see somebody, God said, no. God said, no. Make me a eunuch, remember? <laughs> Every time you said no. Amen. Because it will hinder the plan of God if he married wrong. The first one, you know, the first one did not, did, it's not really good. He almost quit the ministry. Right? Remember the story? But thank God he got connected to these two men, Dr. Shumron and Dad Hagen. You stay with me tonight. You'll be okay. Yes. You might say, well, he just left on with a man of God in a room, so that's why probably okay. That no, you didn't know if yeah. Dr. Shumro, yes. that acre was praying for him. That's yeah. right. I believe they did. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. yeah. And this man of God, when they opened their mouth and talked to the father, the father always answered yeah. right away. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, praise God. Yeah. Amen. Nothing happened without that, without yeah. prayer, the word and prayer. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. You learned something? Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. We didn't know that the plan of God for pastor will be like this today. Yeah. She doesn't even know. Yeah. But she was praying for the plan of God for her life. Yeah. And in a few weeks, she got married to the plan. You may say, well, she got married to Dr. Pray. No, she got married to the plan of God. How do you know that? Because when the devil put vile thoughts in my mind to separate from that, I mean the pressure. I mean, I rebuke it. In Jesus' name, I rebuke it. It will leave a little bit, and then it'll come back again. I don't know what to do. It come back on the pressure. Vile thoughts about dad. And I know it's the devil because I cannot think this for my, my spiritual father. The pressure of living a, the man of God because I was determined to stay with him and not short circuit the anointing. I don't care. Oh, because before I just let people come into our church or whoever they are. There's one man some, one time, he got anointing, good teacher, anointed by God. I, can, I mean, the anointing was on him. I have him in the church. And I, have, I heard the Holy Ghost. I have him in your church. So I did. He helped me in some. I learned something from him. But he talks bad about Dad Hagen. He talks bad. And he started talking bad about Doc, uh, Doc, I mean Dr. Dufresne and Pastor Nancy because Pastor Nancy, Dr. married Pastor Nancy. He's one of those that talk bad because they don't hear. They didn't hear from God. Right? So God said, no, you cannot have him anymore in your church. The reason why I have him it, it, you know, connected him to you because I want him to get connected with your spiritual father. But they, he rejected it by speaking wrong against him. Because of his gift, it will be enhanced. Amen. He said, never again have somebody that's not connected to your spiritual father. And you have to understand, when God connected you, don't short circuit by having more men in your life or women in your life. 
They might be good ministers, but they were short, you know, because I used to be an electrician. I know a little bit of electricity when I was in the Navy. There, there's a flow of electricity. It's good. We can have, you know, right? We can take advantage of that flow. But when you short circuit it, it will turn off everything. It will turn off the flow. There are ministers that will come to your church that is not connected to the flow that God has given to you and it will short circuit the flow. Short circuit the flow. It has to be the same flow. Same move of God. Same flow. They might not be, they might be good ministers, but they are, they're not the flow that God has given to you. That's how I learned. So when this bad thought come to me, right? I stand against that devil. I remember God said to connect me with dad in 2002. I want you, you will go with him. And uh, you, you, he said, I sent men to, to go with him, but all of them left him. He said, that, he said, God said to me, but I know you will not. I don't know what it's saying. I just learned that what God said to Paul, he counted me faithful. So, so he counted me faithful what he said. I know you will not leave me. His dude, this dude right here. Naturally, it seems like you won't qualify. But he doesn't qualify you with your look. Although I'm good looking, I'm sorry. I just tell my wife, you married, uh, you know, a tall, tall, dark, and handsome. <laughs> and I always tell my wife, because she got opportunity to marry rich people, because she's surrounded by it at college, but you married to me because of my look, because I don't have money <laughs> at that time. I gave my wife a hard time. I have to borrow money from her when we date. <laughs> we go to movies, eat. I make sure it's her, because she got budget, you know. You know. Mine is just bad. I don't have, I don't get anything. I don't have a bad get, budget or whatever. So I will ask her, you, you have money? Okay, we can see movie. <laughs> I did everything in the beginning when I'm still courting her, you know. So I spent all that money. So when she said yes to me, I don't have money anymore. But I got what I want. I didn't know we're going to do the will of God together, you know. Right? But anyway, the same as God. He saw this dude faithful right here. But he's not looking at my outside. He's looking at my inside. But I'm telling you, I almost quit. But he was always there to help me. Remember, I was pressured we don't have money because I didn't ask God. Right? Right? We, we just do whatever it takes to make it happen until that day. Lord, Lord. I need money to go with. So I will, I'm always, you know, open to God. I need money. And then when I ask him, then he answered. Why don't you just tell me? We've been struggling to get money together to fulfill the plan. Right? I could have asked myself, why didn't you just tell me before? Because I never asked. So I learned from Nicodemus. In prayer, I ask so much. Yes, I ask. Uh, if I don't understand the word, I ask him. In prayer. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Yep. So, so now, here's the pressure, the vile thoughts yeah. coming to me. And I rebuke it in Jesus' name, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I command it in Jesus' name. Because I know it's the devil. Yeah. He'll, he'll, he'll subside a little bit. Yeah. The devil is a liar. Yeah. He'll leave you alone a little bit. He'll come back again. But this time it's different. Something rose up in me. And the Holy Ghost reminded me of what he said to me about the will of God for my 
for my spiritual father. And I, I get up. I said, devil, you get out of here in your thoughts. Because I will not leave the plan of God for my life. Doctor, doctor Dufresne, that Dufresne is the will of God for my life. So you get out of here. I am not leaving the will of God. Yes. He left in all his vile thoughts. And, when, and I know it when it's coming. Yeah, yeah. I said, no, you're not. Yeah, yeah. From that day on, he never did. Yeah. He tried, but because I got the answer. Yes, yes, yes. Victory right. is mine. Yes. I just said what he said yes. to me. The, whole, the Holy Ghost, what he said to me about that. Amen. Amen. When dad went home to be with the Lord, the day, Pastor Morgan I remember called us. I right away, you know, your emotion is still, right? It's still uh, moving, you know. You're the, but I learned how to quiet it. Yeah. Yes. Right? Yes. Went to my other room there where I pray. I said, Lord, I can't trouble with that. That, 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 that plan is over. And, and we learn now the word of God said, Pats. You know, the paths, the plan of God. Born in you. Right? That you may walk in this path. So I said, Lord, what, 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 what's next? I can't go with that. Amen. Because uh, uh, that word, like what the pastor said, it will anchor you. I said, uh, stay with your pastor. You needed her, you and your wife. But she needed you too. Amen. Mm. Son, you pray for your pastor. Make sure she's a success in her life, mm. in ministry. Mm. See, I know. When dad went home, we didn't try to find somebody. We know the one. Right away, he answered me. Amen. I don't short circuit anything. But I honor everyone. You understand me now? Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. We're still here. Yes. We're still the favorite. Yes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God forevermore. Prayer. 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 Don't just keep bringing people into your ministry. And I learned from that. Everyone that you bring in the pulpit, they will bring a supply to your church, whether good or bad. You got to know. You got to know their ministry. You got to know exactly who God. And you cannot know that without prayer. I'm just teaching you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Well, how do you know that? Because you, God will connect you to somebody that walk in the plan. Yes. And because of the plan of God for their life, amen, yes. you get opportunity. Yes. You got the privilege to walk yes. in the plan that God has for them. Yes. And God will reveal to you his plan for your life. That's right. Amen. Amen. The plan of God is amazing. Yes. So here, I'm going to show you here, and I'm going to end with this. Let's go to uh, for this one scripture, 1 Corinthians. This, is, this scripture is dear to me uh, with regards to prayer. You know, I've started learning the word now and more and more. But you know, that commode time of prayer. <laughs> I don't have much word until, you know, but I meditate on the word. The Lord taught me. And he put that in my heart, meditate on the word day and night. Mm -hmm. You will make your way prosperous. Right. You will make, you know. And you will have good success. I didn't know that when you're praying in the spirit, not only he will reveal to you the written word and your fellowship and you worship God because that's what I did. I didn't know that my pastor did the same way. You spend time meditating on the word and spend time in worship and spend time praying in the spirit. I did the same without me knowing her. We don't know each other yet, but it's the same thing that God... God put in my heart. I was not a real. The Holy Ghost helped me. I didn't know I was being helped by the Holy Ghost. And I was fervent. I understand fervent prayer. I will pour my heart every day. 
to know the plan of God for my life. And before he even gave me the details of his plan, specific details, he's giving me the word. He's revealing the word to me. Amen? He's revealing the word to me. And not only that, he's revealing little by little, amen, the specific will. So I said, oh Lord, there's two things when you pray. He will tell you the word. Not only the word that being when you meditate, also the word when the voice God has given you a voice or whoever God will stand in this pulpit or amen and those that visit our church as the Lord lead us, amen. I get what I said. I mean, if I, if I don't get it then, I listen to it again yeah. with prayer, yeah. yes. with prayer, yes. right? With prayer. Father, I thank you. For the spirit of wisdom. I learned it from Paul. He said, I have all this revelation. And he will pray. A prayer will be listed. It's all over the place. Uh, it's all, 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 all those epistles. Yeah. The Philippians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not from the Philippines. But they're Philippians. <laughs> right? right? A man of God named Paul. Yeah. He has the faith to go home. He wants to go home. Yeah. Because it's far better. But because of the prayer of that church, they kept Paul on the earth. Because why? Because revelation, he cannot leave the earth until he has to speak those revelation that's flowing out of his spirit. He has to stay around because revelation still flow. Amen. Praise God. He said, because of your, through your prayer and the supply of the spirit, that's what Paul said, this will turn to my salvation. Amazing, amazing. Prayer of the church. The whole church. So it is possible that the whole church pray. They kept the man of God on the earth. Keep him out of prison. Oh, praise God. You remember that? And you know, they become a very rich churches. Philippians. Amen. You, you know the story. We're not going to have the word, my God shall supply all my needs. Don't pray for your pastor, not supporting your pastor, and then my God shall supply all. It will not work. That's, that verse was spoken at the end of the book of Philippians. You have to start chapter 1. It doesn't start in chapter 4. <laughs> Very important. Very important. Sometimes pastor, you notice that, uh, man of God, I, I have all these written notes. You know, sometimes you will say, I have all this written, but none of them I will preach. <laughs> she will start preaching by the inspiration of the Holy Ghost. Somebody's praying. Or that utterance. But she's always ready. Just in case we don't pray. <laughs> Folks, you won't get it if you don't pray for those revelations. If you don't pray for your man, woman of God. They're a voice to your, to your life. Oh my God, I don't know why I'm into this, but. Oh, praise God. Pray for me. That's what Paul said. Pray for me. Paul prays for them that they will get it. And said, pray for me that utterance may be given to me. That I make the word, the precise utterance, the correct utterance. The timely utterance, the correct knowledge of his will, that I may speak it boldly as I ought to speak. Amen. Because the word first, before the move of the spirit. See that book of Acts, pastor said that. Amen. Well, I saw that book of Acts. They pray, they pray 
boldness to speak thy word. Amen. Because the devil will stop the revelation of the word. There will be no miracles without the word first. You know, you know the outpouring of the spirit? Well, it's the day of Pentecost. That's why he came. No, 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 no. You, you see that. They were in one accord. In one place. It took a little bit of time for them to be in unity. Word in their heart and mind. There's different kinds of things. And Jesus was telling, wait for the promise of the Father. 120 of them, at least we know. Right? When they got together with one word, Jesus gave to them. They become united in heart and mind. With the word that Jesus told them. What happened? Boom. The manifestation. Of what's in their heart and their mind came. We don't know everybody there. We just know some that was mentioned. But those 120 brought to us. The Holy Ghost. And they began to speak. With other tongues. And brought in harvest. At least we know beginning is 3,000. Why those 3,000 came? Got born again. Got connected to the plan of God. Because those 120 prayed. They got filled with the Holy Ghost. They got filled with the plan of God. Because the Holy Ghost will not give you any utterance outside from the will of God. It might be a mystery to you. And this is what is said here. Paul said here uh, in chapter 2. He said, amen, praise God. Chapter 2 here, uh -huh. yeah, verse 6, for the sake of time. Howbeit we speak wisdom among them, chapter 2, among them. Howbeit we, we, he was talking about we. And if you go to chapter 3, he did, he's not talking about the church of Corinth, any one of them, because they are all carnal. Right? There's no revelation. So you can get into a place, belong to a church that cannot receive revelation. Right. Amen? Right. So he was talking about him, we. Not only him. He didn't mention any names. But there's we. There's somebody. That do the same thing as him. How be it we speak wisdom among them that are what? Perfect. And the word perfect we know mature. So without speaking this wisdom... Amen. We will lack maturity. Right? That's what it said. Amen. It says here, uh, yet not the wisdom of this world, nor are the princes of this world that come to nothing. Without the wisdom of God, our wisdom will come to nothing. Your whole plan, it may work something, you know, for your life, but it's still uh, nothing. It's in vain. Now, it said here, uh, and for the sake of time, it said here, verse 7, but we, he talked talk about the we again. Who are those we? The one that prays the wisdom of God in a mystery. Right? It said here, but we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery. Now we know that praying in the spirit, you speak mystery. It's the wisdom of God, the plan of God. Now look at this. It says here, even the hidden wisdom. Which God ordained before the world unto our glory. It's for our glory. Yeah. Amen. Which none of the princes of this world knew. For had they known it. They would not have crucified the Lord of glory. So when you're praying in the spirit. The devil doesn't know. Right. There are things that God will reveal to me as I pray. He said son. Keep, keep your mouth shut. Don't say it. Don't let the devil hear what I'm saying. He is not hearing what I'm revealing to you in your spirit. You're the only one that can hear. Amen. Okay, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. So now here, it says here, uh, amen. Verse 9, but as it is written, I, am not, I have not seen. Now he's still talking about the we. That praying the mystery. So if you don't pray, the wisdom of God and mystery, that's nothing. Nothing to be revealed. Now look at this. But as written, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. Right. So I like what pastor ministered this uh, too long ago. Amen. I think, I believe in Georgetown. At uh, the love of God, 
is connected to the plan of God. If you love God, amen, you walk in what he prepared for you. But God had revealed them unto us by what? By his spirit. Who is that us? Those us is the we. So if you're not praying, you're not one of those us. You're not of those we. So you go to church and not get anything. Praise God forevermore. But God had revealed them unto us by his spirit. For the spirit searches all things. Yea, the deep things of God. For what man knoweth the things of a man. Save the spirit of a man which is in him. Amen. In the Amplified, it talks about, amen, what your spirit received, revelation, it will, it will flow from you, to your mind. Because your mind has to be renewed. It has to be, amen. That's why your mind needs to be renewed all the time. Because you cannot know the will of God, amen, what is good, acceptable in the perfect will of God if your mind is unrenewed. Because your mind will uh, reject what your spirit is receiving. Right? Amen. But when your mind is renewed, the power and the demonstration of the Spirit will begin to flow. Amen? Because in third chapter, it talks about they cannot receive the wisdom of God because they're carnal. They have divisions among them. Amen? Because what? I believe lack of prayer. Because they're not the we. They're not the us. So here, praise God, it says here, right? Amen. Now we have received, not the spirit of this word. We know that, right? And, and it says here, which things also we speak. See, it's a revelation, right? We speak the wisdom of God and mystery. But when it becomes a revelation, so when you're praying, words will be formed in your spirit. The revelation will be formed in your spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. It will be formed. Yeah, uh, yeah, you're praying in your most holy faith. You know, hallelujah. Praying in the Holy Ghost. Amen, your spirit began to hear the understanding of what the mystery is all about. Maybe one word, and then what? You speak. You speak it. You speak it. Hallelujah, you speak it. So you, you, if you pray in the spirit all the time, the mystery, you will always hear revelation. Yes. Every day of your life. Amen. You will hear the answer. Yes. You will hear the plan of God for your life. Yes. And you speak it. Yes. That's your victory. That's right. That's right. You speak those words. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Now, the devil cannot, cannot tempt us to live our pastor. I'm not saying to you, he didn't try. He's still crying. But he cannot, he cannot. Amen. He cannot have victory. It cannot, we don't give him an inch. Because yes. we know the plan. I'm not saying this because pastor is here. I'm just telling you what God said. Yes. Amen. So cool, Rabbi. You, you pray. It's not casual. It's not a casual prayer. But I'm not trying to, no, the Holy Ghost. Help me pray with an intense prayer sometimes. But I worship him first. I worship him. And then suddenly, he'll speak to me the word. Amen. He'll speak the word. And, and every time he speak, it's always in line with his word. Ah, praise God. And I will read the word by the Holy Ghost. And I said, Lord, I receive that word. I receive it. And he'll begin, amen. And I pray in the spirit. And I will birth, right? That's what he told me. Every spiritual thing has to be birthed into my spirit, into your spirit. See, can you imagine if you're not praying? Nothing will be birthed. You got to live a carnal human being. You won't hear from God because you are not the we and you're not the us. You want to be the we? Start praying. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And two things happening. I started understanding the written word and I started hearing the specific word. That's why we just don't bring people in our church because we know exactly who to bring. 
Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Di robo soko de bashara. Yengro lo koshika. Ya kono mahoko de soko de sika. Ya na huko do se. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Dale luko shika. Ya kos. Ya. Mhm. Ya. Mhm. Ya koto suka pahaya. Ya. Oh. Aha. Koko shit. Eh. Ya. 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 Oh ma, the keys. <laughs> yes, okay. Ma, I need your help here. Uh-huh. Pastor Jenny, this is my heart to do. Amen. Uh, 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 that's going to be another level of prayer. Uh, I'm not with you when you pray, but there's, God told me to, to impart something to you. Amen. Hallelujah. I just have to ask my wife to help me. Can we do that, Pastor? Yes. 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 Amen. The spirit of prayer can be, can be in part. Yeah. Praise God. My job is to follow the Holy Ghost. How do you get that? Praying in the spirit. It's a mystery. And then revelation began to flow in my spirit. Amen. It, he will do the same thing to you. Oh my. Hallelujah. Aha. Ah. Shikapaya. Oh, glory be to God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Greater revelation. Greater revelation, yes. Greater revelation, yeah. Greater manifestation, yeah. 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 Greater utterance, yeah. 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 Pastor Amy, can I please? Yeah, to kush. It will be greater revelation, greater manifestation, greater things. Yeah, yeah, greater things will be given to you by the Spirit. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 Takaya. Oh, 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 it will affect their ministry and their spouses. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, 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 oh my God, hallelujah. Oh, ha, to cause it. Yes, Lord, I will do it, Lord. I will do it. Yes, Lord, because it's time. <laughs> Come up here. If you're please, I'd be honored to those that are ministers. 
to bless you with, with, with. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Many things will be burnt. Many things needs to be burnt. And it will, it will, it will come to pass. Father, hete, Oh my God, brother Joel. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Oh, 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 the body of Christ. Oh, revelation. Oh my God, Lord. Ah, Pastor, Pastor, receive it, Pastor. No, I go. I got it. I got this. Oh my God! Hallelujah! No, I got it. Oh, the God! I got this. Pastor, my God, 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 my Bend the ho, bend the ho, bend the ho, a coho, a hato, a hato, a cata, danto, mata, 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 a cata, matato, metoco, 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 pastor, metoco, metoco, megariota, mata, mata, mata. Metra, mekorosa, metrotos, ratoko, ratoko, yatoko, hagod, hagodos, hatoko, yako, yako, ta, bata, 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 hakata, hakata, mata, mata, haka, mata, mata, hakato. Oh, oh, yeah, Pastor, come up here. I didn't know you're still here. Matoko, datsoko, akotoso, yatoso, stay. You put your hand. Matoko, mero, adoko. Matoko, 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 matoko. Ah, 
Supply. You will hear music to supply the supply for past. Revelation by the Spirit. Sing it, however it comes out. It's still from the Holy Ghost. Thank Yeah. 
can be seated. We want to go ahead and receive an offering for Pastor Noel's ministry this morning. If you need an offering envelope, there is one in the seat pocket in front of you. If you are new, and then you can do text to give guests 951 900 3991 and also Dufresne Ministries.org. You can go and give online that way as well. Uh, service tonight, seven o'clock. Tonight is double up offering night. And uh, if you have a testimony from this week or from any previous meetings, we would love to hear your testimony. Uh, we have a, a QR code. I think if they can put that up there, you can submit it online uh, as well as going to our website. You can go to social media and message us without testimony, anything financially, physically, mentally, whatever it is that God has done and through the preaching and teaching of the word or the ministry, uh, ministry lines that we've had, just we want to know what God has done for you. Uh, today we'll have prayer school with Pastor Noel and Pastor Ruby Ramos. Uh, we'll say at 1245 and then David, you want to do 1230. Okay, worship school. We're going to part ways here. Worship school will be 1230, prayer school, 1245. David wants to start 40 in for about 45 minutes. So um, be in here, worship school, 1245, and uh, excuse me, 1230, prayer, 1245. And uh, so if you have any questions, uh, ask a staff member. <laughs> we can help you. Uh, Pastor Well has another teaching set of teachings out there I believe this is a two CD set the basics of prayer so he has more material out there pastor Nancy has these two books that I think are great set together uh, this one love the great quest and I have a supply uh, don't read this if you haven't read this this won't work without this so uh, it's a good combo, combo pack. Pastor Noel was talking about that this morning, uh, Philippians chapter four, uh, but there was much that was said before that. Uh, so we want to make sure that when we go to access our supply that God has already provided, we're not waiting on him to do anything. He has already provided everything that we'll need. Um, but we have to work with him, flow with him, cooperate with his word. And so we need to have our minds renewed uh, to that supply that he has for us. But that's going to work by love. Everything's going to flow out of this wonderful calling that we all have to uh, have a successful love walk. Amen. Um, and then Miss Cindy has this one out here th through scripture and song. This is the healing anointing uh, with her and her husband on there. Uh, these are, are things that you keep in your library that you keep going so that the anointing of God, the power of God's continually flowing uh, into your body. Amen. You ready to give this morning? Ushers, go ahead and come forward. We'll wait on the people. Hold your offering up before the Lord. Let's worship him. Father, we thank you for what we've received this morning. We will be doers of your word and not just hearers only. We honor you with our giving this morning. We thank you uh, for the ministry of Pastor Noel and Pastor Ruby. And what a privilege and a joy to sow into their ministry. And we thank you for the harvest that you have for us uh, through our giving in Jesus' name, amen. Ushers, go ahead. So again, 1230 in the sanctuary, 1245. So those of you that serve uh, our Bible school students, our congregation members that serve in these different uh, departments or, or um, classes that we have going on, make sure that you get everything ready and prepared since we've bumped up those times and you're in here and in place. Uh, for those meetings, amen. Uh, as the offering bucket goes your way, stand with me to your feet if you would this morning. I believe we're waiting on a few more people. Turn to somebody before you're dismissed and say, thank God for the ministry of Pastor Noel.